Hey guys, Tonic here, and welcome to the first ever Top Photos of the Week on my channel. This is going to be a new series where I take a look at the photos that you guys send in via Discord, and I just rank them in a video. When I announced this last week, I did not expect to get nearly as many submissions as we did, but there's a pretty good amount in there, so I'm super excited to hop right into this and start ranking them, so let's get to it. Now a few things I want to say before we start, we're going to do this in a top 10 manner. I know a few of you wanted a top 15, however for now we're going to do a top 10 and as the series starts to grow we'll start to up that cap a little bit. Also the rules were that you cannot alter any photos with a third party software like Instagram or Photoshop or anything like that. Also you can't be mean to anyone else submitting photos and also you can only submit three photos a week. Those are the only rules for right now, but over time as things happen we might start changing the rules, but for now that's pretty much it. So let's hop right into the first one. So right off the bat, I actually just realized a massive mistake that I made in that I never really asked anyone for their in-game names or for their socials or anything like that, so I'm just going to be going off Discord names here, but this one was sent to us from Jordan, and this photo is absolutely sick. I really like how that Mothman has that big aura around him, it's just that blue, and I don't really know if that's the attack, I guess. I don't really actually know what that's from, but either way, it looks absolutely sick. He's taking a photo of it with a rocket suit on, that dead ghoul on the bottom, just an all-around really cool photo. So next up we have a photo from Alex Auto Axe, and this one just blew me away. It looks like something that Bethesda themselves would actually post maybe for an Atomic Shop promotional image or something along those lines. You have the Brotherhood Recon Armor, the Brotherhood Bunkers, the Brotherhood Tower, the Brotherhood Beret as well as the Plasma Cutter. Just all this stuff together coming together really nicely. And it again just looks like something that Bethesda themselves would actually put out for maybe like buy this bundle now or some type of image like that. I really like this one and just huge props to you for taking this one because it looks so professional. So the next photo comes to us from Speed 69 awesome name, and awesome photo as well. This photo is really cool, it's very simplistic. I think that this is the Dolly Sod's Wilderness Cabin in the Mire, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm pretty sure it's that one that has that Yogawai that spawns out of it all the time, but regardless of that, this photo is just very simplistic. It's just a photo of an in-game location, but the reason I picked it is because it looks like something that would actually be like a loading screen, just a stock loading screen. You buy the game, you don't take any photos yet, and then... This would be one of your loading screens, I feel like. It's just very nice in that sense. So next up, we have a photo submission from Mao. And this photo, I just, it really got to me. I ended up really liking it. The more I looked at it, the more stuff I found in it. And the Sentry Bot, of course, is the US Army Sentry Bot, but they are also wearing US Army paint on their power armor, and it has the same star on there. It's just really cool. It kind of looks like an inaction shot from maybe the Great War or something like that. I'm not sure if Gatlin Plasmas were around for the Great War, if they were used in the Great War, but regardless, it's just really cool seeing the US Army power armor there next to a US Army Sentry bot. I think it's just kind of neat. So the next photo comes to us from Dovahkeen, and all the photos that they submitted actually have some really wild filtering going on. There's very bright green photos, very bright red photos, but this one I think is the best out of all of them. It's a silhouette with the single headlamp in the center with a red backdrop. I just think it looks really cool, and it again kind of looks like a promotional image that Bethesda maybe themselves would post. Imagine this photo with the text Fallout 76 Steel Dawn Part 3 behind it, or something along those lines. I just think it again looks like a promotional image, and for that, I really like it. So the next photo comes to us from Vault Girl, and the reason I like this one so much is because I actually grew up around a lot of cornfields. I grew up in like a very rural area, and seeing a tractor with a farmer outfit and a farmer hat in this kind of location is just really neat. I wish that we had an emote where you could actually sit down and properly like put your hands on a steering wheel. I think that'd be kind of cool to use on like a lot of the cars around the wasteland and stuff like that, but regardless, this photo is absolutely awesome. Vault Girl, I love this one. So this one comes to us from a sad Nemo, and I like to think that they're a junkie build just because of all the chems laying next to them. This is a really wild photo. I'm not really sure where they got this many chems to spawn or how they got this photo to happen, but regardless, I've never really seen anything like it, so this one is easily on the list. So now we are into the top three photos of the week, and this one comes to us from Blackburn. I'm not sure if this is a nuclear winter or survival mode. I think it's survival mode just due to the location as well as the skin on the suit. I don't think you can apply the camo suit to nuclear winter, but regardless of that, the coloring is great. I love the giant explosion or fire flames in the background, whatever it may be, and just the look of this photo, how he's about to go into it using that radiation suit. Very, very cool and easily well-deserving of a top three. Coming in at number two, we have a photo from Argent Deer, and this photo... It's just really cool. Watoga is always one of those really nice photogenic cities. There's a lot of really cool photo opportunities in there. And this one was a perfect one. There's a red storm rolling through town, just standing in the street alone with all these destroyed buildings and vehicles. All around, it just creates for a perfect shot. And I think it was executed perfectly as well with the angle and everything like that. A really cool shot in a really cool location. I love Watoga. I really wish we had some more stuff to do in Watoga because it's just such a really cool place to explore. 
And finally, for the top photo of the week, it's going to be a photo from TechBlaze. Now, this photo is absolutely awesome. A lot of you guys might actually know TechBlaze. He's a very active member in the community, does a lot of really cool stuff, and is pretty nuts at camp building as well, and apparently very good at photography. This shot is super cool. I love the silhouette, just the glowing eyes and the like purplish pink backdrop. Very cool. It's very colorful, but at the same time, it's just like very unique. I, I don't really see a lot of silhouette shots. I know we had one earlier in here, but again, that was like the two times I've really seen a really good silhouette shot. These are executed very well, and TechBlaze, I think, sets a very high standard for a silhouette shot with this photo. And that is pretty much going to do it for the top 10 photos this week. And I want to give a massive thank you to everybody who submitted their photos and made this video possible. And if you want to get involved with this, just join the Discord. There's a photo submissions area right in there. And then just post your three photos for the week, and maybe you'll see them in next week's video. It was a ton of fun doing this. I really can't express that enough. I'm so happy that this idea kind of got brought to life. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any constructive criticism or just any tweaks that you would like made or anything like that, for sure let me know. Again, this is the first one ever, so I'm very open to suggestions. I'm not sure if this is the format that I want to stick with or how I really want this series to end up going down the road, but for now, I feel like this kind of seems to work. Also, I want to say while I was editing this video, I just hit 10k subscribers on the YouTube channel and it just absolutely blew me away. I never expected this. I never even expected to hit 100 subscribers, let alone 10k, so a huge thank you to everybody who subscribed, and if you're not, still a huge thank you for stopping by and watching this video. It means the absolute world to me, and I I still am kind of like a loss for words for it. By by later on, I'm going to be able to compose myself better and make a proper thank you video. But for now, I hope that this kind of serves as that proper thank you because it just blows my mind. It, it really does leave me speechless. So again, just thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate it. And also, as always, a massive thank you to all the channel members as well. Timothy James, Esdeath93, Heather Henderson, Jaden James, Blackburn, Yosevated, Patrick Ruta, 23 Icefire, Jay Smith, Argent Deer, Bowser Double Frang, Ice Cream Manny, Chris Decker, Robert Kennard, Theodore, Captain Awesome, Digital Aardvark, Lone Samurai OG, Dathan Gaming, Christy Mel, and Schwitz. You guys are amazing. I love you guys, and have a good weekend.